Okay, yeah, so I have this, uh, this keyboard with a trackpad on it, so I'm going to be really, really bad at this, so uh, please don't judge me. Um, so yeah, um, I just compiled this last night. It took about a little over an hour to compile on the Raspberry Pi, uh, to, to compile a Quake 3. And um, let's go ahead, and I'm um, just going to go launch it up. So we got sound. Took me a little while to get the sound going. <laughs> All right. Looks familiar. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, so you can see it's actually running um, 1280 by 1024. And I just, the texture's up high. The texture detail's up high. Yeah, I haven't played this game in forever. It kind of brings me back. But this is just a good... It just shows you, uh, like, really how how well the Raspberry Pi does with graphics. Um, the GPU is pretty solid on it. And, um... Major. But... I don't have an actual frame rate right now, but as you can see, it's pretty dang smooth. Yeah, but um, it actually does really well. It's really smooth. Um, and um, I'm kind of looking forward to finding out whether games can run off this and kind of messing around with it. But um, I haven't actually played video yet. Oh. Yeah, this level's a little choppier. Yeah, anyways, that's my demo. Um, there's some like artifacts on the screen. You can see it right there, kind of flashing up. I'm just noticing that. So there's a little bit of kind of weird stuff going on, but other than that, um, it runs pretty dang well, and um, it's fun. To, it's fun, and. Um, it's kind of a good show off too if you want to show off the Raspberry Pi, and I think it just really demonstrates. Um, it just really demonstrates what it, what what it could potentially do, and um, so, anyways. But I hope you guys liked it, and um, have a good one.